As we get into these uh, two examples here, uh, we're going to be describing sample spaces. As you can see right here, we have a sample space S, and we have another one right here. And a sample space, for lack of a better term, a sample space really is nothing more than a list of all the possible outcomes that can occur in some sort of probability experiment. And a probability experiment is where you conduct an experiment over and over and over to determine the likelihood of some sort of event occurring. So for this uh, first example here, we have flipping coins. It says, suppose you flipped a quarter three times in a row. Determine the sample space, S, of all the different ways the quarter could land within the three flips. Now one thing that we would might want to do is we want to use a letter or a number to designate any particular result. So if I flip a head, how about if I label it with an H? And if I flip a tail, I'll label it with a T. So then the sample space, and we'll go ahead and we'll label it S. And then we start off with this curly brace. A curly brace shows that it is a set. So if I go ahead and I flip the quarter three times, it is possible to get three heads in a row. And I'll just label it with three H's. It is possible to flip the quarter three times and you can get two heads and then a tail. Or we can get a head, a tail, and then a head. We can go ahead and we can get a head and two tails. So all I'm doing is I'm just going ahead and listing all the possible ways, which are known as outcomes, of when I flip a quarter three times in a row. I can get a tail and then two heads. a tail, a head, and then a tail. I can get two tails and then a head. And I think we got one more and that is all three come up tails. And I think we got them all, unless you could think of anything other, I think we got them all. So I go ahead and I close off my set with my curly brace. And the good thing about a sample space is you could see all the outcomes. That helps us as we get into problems to be able to visualize what's going on. And here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight possible outcomes that if I was to flip a quarter three times, it would have eight possible outcomes. Similar to uh, example two here, sitting together. It says Alan, Beth, and Chris are going to the movies together. Determine the sample space S of all the possible ways that the three friends can sit together in a row in the movie theater. So we'll just go ahead and how about if we have Alan, we'll label Alan as A, Beth with a B, and Chris with a C. So then our sample space, S, don't forget your curly brace. We could have Alan, Beth, and then Chris. We could have Alan, Chris, and Beth. We could have Beth, Alan, and Chris. Beth, Chris, and Alan. And again, all we're doing is thinking of all the different ways that the three friends can sit together. Chris, Alan, and Beth. And I think the last one is Chris, Beth, and Alan. We'll go ahead and close it off. And again, we could see all the possible ways that if the three friends went to the movies together, how many different ways they could sit next to each other. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six different ways that they can sit next to each other.